Hey, what's up, you guys? Translord12 here with a new review. And today we have the UNSC Warthog from the new Halo Reach vehicle line. This will run you about $30. Pick this guy up at Target today. Uh, I think you can find him at Toys R Us. Um, I'm not sure, completely sure about Walmart, but uh, feel free to check. But I found this guy at, Toy at Target, but I'm pretty sure you can find him at Toys R Us too. And this guy, let me tell you, this guy is amazing. McFarlane Toys did an amazing job on this vehicle. Um, from just, it doesn't have a lot of features, which is, eh, it's lacking features, definitely, but just the overall look of it is amazing. Uh, fans of the game uh, have been asking for a vehicle like this for so long, but uh, they finally made it, and it's really awesome. Uh, no, I have my Noble Six figure up here. Man in the turret, looking all beast and stuff. Um, let's get on to the review. Um... It is a very big vehicle. If you can see here, take this guy off. He is very, very tiny compared to this vehicle. This is a five inch figure. So later I'll show some other size comparisons. So let's go ahead and put him off to the side. Now the vehicle does have four rolling wheels. They are rubber, which is a very, very nice touch. Uh, turret rotates, it goes 360 degrees, pivots up and down, and pivots at the bottom too. So you get some cool little action poses going on there as they're jumping canyons and stuff. Uh, one thing I don't like about it is this this thing pops off very easily. It just kind of it doesn't have any like pegs or anything. It just places in right there and then you're done. Um, it fits three uh, uh, Halo Reach figures or Halo figures of any kind. Um, two right here and one right there and mandatory. Uh, I haven't fit a figure in the passenger yet, but I've had fit this guy into the uh, the uh, driver, and that one fit okay. So let's go ahead and get a 360. You can see the front here. Got the. It's not the. Uh, it is the Halo Reach mongoose. I mean not mongoose. The Halo Reach warthog. It is not the uh, uh, Halo Three, Halo Two, Halo One warthog. But those ones are all different. This one is designed from the Halo Reach one. It is very cool. It has a little step thing right there. Wheels roll. Also about the wheels, uh, mine aren't kind of in right, so they kind of spin, kind of like a like as a like a loop or something. They look kind of roll awkward, so it's kind of it's more of a display vehicle than anything. You can see the back has the stoplights and the uh, little whatever that is and the turrets right there. Same thing on this side. You have the uh, UNSC logo right there, step thing right there, and another step right there. And we'll put the vehicle back here. And I'll get the ghost to compare in size. As you can see here, the ghost ghost is very, 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 very tiny compared to this. Double six right there. Let's see a little size comparison. Um, they are very, very big vehicles. This one is this guy, giant. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, it's a very good vehicle. At 30 bucks, this is a steal. It's a great vehicle. The size of this vehicle it just makes it. It should be. A, it really should be a 45 dollar vehicle, but for 30 dollars, this is awesome. Um, take it from me. This is a really good vehicle. I will be reviewing the Ghost. If you haven't seen that, I'll have the link down in my pants, as Mr. Shea Carl says. Uh, but yeah, this has been Transworld 12. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.